people are surprised to learn that not all of their assets pass according to the terms of their will. That's right, not all of your assets pass according to the terms of your will. There are different kinds of assets and different kinds of assets pass different kinds of ways. Assets that are titled in your individual name, not with a co-owner, not with a beneficiary designation, but for example, an investment account titled in your name, that will pass under the terms of your will. If you own a home that is just in your name, that will pass under the terms of your will. Anything that is titled just in your name passes according to the wishes you've expressed in your last will and testament. But there's other kinds of assets too. So for example, you might own a piece of real estate with another owner as either joint tenants with rights of survivorship, or in some states, if the other owner is your spouse, as tenants by the entirety. What this form of ownership means is that when you pass away, no matter what your will says, the joint owner on that property will immediately become the full owner of that piece of property. Now there's a different way to have joint ownership of a property, and that's called tenants in common. So you and I might own a rental property together as tenants in common, meaning you own a part of it and I own a part of it. The part that I own will pass according to the terms of my will, and the part that you own will pass according to the terms of your will. That is one form of joint ownership where the title does not supersede your will. Another type of asset that passes outside the terms of your will is something like a retirement account or life insurance. And why don't those pass under your will? Well, because they have beneficiary designations associated with them. And when you complete a beneficiary designation that says, my spouse will receive this policy or my children will receive my IRA when I die, that beneficiary designation supersedes your will. So in doing your estate planning, it's very important to consider the titling of your assets and the beneficiary designations associated with them. We at Homrick Berg consider those aspects of your planning as a regular part of our everyday planning for our clients. And if you would like assistance in considering all these aspects of your estate plan and ensuring that your will is appropriate, as is your titling and beneficiary designations, we would be so glad to help.